now that you've created the category about us, now you go back to the contacts, click on contacts, and then you say create new contact. And then now, for this contact, we're going to make it, we're just going to call the contact email us. And if we go back here and look at the administration page and look at that email us, let's see what we got here. So it has quite a bit of text in here. So we're going to copy all that text, come back here, and paste that in. And then we're going to hit, come down here in the contacts position. Actually, just going to call the name is email us. Right here. And then we'll put that is where we'll, the contact position is where we'll put that. Now, this is where we put the address that you want to receive the emails. So, my address, I'm going to put my Google address. And then your street address, I'm not going to, I'm going to leave that. And or over here it says, do you want to show those? So I'm going to take away. Let's go back here and look and see what we're going to show. Well, we're going to show the address. We're going to show a telephone number. And we'll show the website. But if you see, there's a quite a few other things that we can show. And also, are we going to show the position? Yeah, we'll show the position because that's this line here. And then we're going to hide the email address. Because the reason we'll hide the email address is because Google's there's different r bots on the web that kind of troll the web and they pick up people's email addresses and they'll save them and then you start getting spam mail well that's one of the ways you get spam mail is because as the, your email address is sitting out on different web pages sometimes it's collected by these spam bots and then they're stored and then they get compiled into a mass email serving system and then you start getting junk mail so we're going to keep the uh, we're going to hide the street address. We're going to hide the uh, town and suburb. Hide the state. Oh, actually we're going to keep those. We're going to show, 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 and show the zip code. We can hide the country. We'll show the telephone number. Hide the mobile. Hide the fax. Keep the web page. Hide miscellaneous information. And we will keep the contact image. Now right here we don't, let's see what images we have. Well, Let's just put this image in here and see if it's the right image. Do we want the Jesus the Lazarus image? Mm, no. Let's just put the key image in there. So, so you, you can see what that will look like. That's not the image we want, but we'll come back and fix that in a minute. Then uh, we don't want to show the V card and contact image. So we'll advance parameters. You can see the um, the d telephone icon and different icons next to it. So we'll leave those the defaults on. And this is your this is so that we can see the um, emails. So that when people put in the email information we'll be able to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and save this contact. And I need to select category. And we did make a category so we have administration. We don't have any user to link it to, and I can. We'll talk about that later. Hit apply, and we'll hit close. So now let's go to the menu manager because anytime you make a like a con any anytime you make content, you need if you want it to show up, you'll need to link it in a menu. Okay, and we're going to call this one contact us. Go back here and make sure. Yep. And we're going to put contacts. And we're going to say standard contact layout. And we're going to call contact us is the name of it. And that's the one we have here. So we hit apply. And let's see what it looks like. So we're going to hit preview. There's the contact page. There it is. Now we don't have any um, 
right now let's see there's no contact information so let's go ahead and put that put that information in as well so let's go back here go back to the contact go back to components contacts choose the email us and we see we don't have any information in there so let's go pick some information well here's the address so we'll put that in there there's the zip code so I'm going to take that and put that in the zip put the Georgia and put the Woodstock in there let's go see if we can get that uh, telephone number alright add the telephone number and we go go ahead and go ahead and put the website in there as well let's see if we can get that information to show up alright hit apply let's go see what it looks like now there we go and you can see those those items showed up alright so now let's go and one th more thing we want to check yep let's see if we can we'll send an email so I'm gonna say uh, David Sermon and we'll just say the email address is David sermon at um, mysermon.com mm -hmm. and test and hi this is a test to the Google email so I'm going to send that let's go double check there we go Email's been sent, so let's go to Google and see if we have it. There it is. See, um, we have that from David Sermon, and it says, I'll double click on that again so you can see that. So it says, today at 9.03 p.m., received an email from uh, this website and and this is the person who sent it and hi this is a test so that's how you can set up now what the church does is they'll come in and they'll put their